Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be giving you guys my top 10 boxing gloves for 2023. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'll finally be giving you guys on my list of top 10 boxing gloves for 2023. I know this is a video a lot of you guys have been requesting and I apologize. It's taken me this long to put this video together. I've just been busy in my personal life with work, training, and as well with the, the channel that, that's been pretty much taking up all my time. Um, there's also a couple other reasons why this list, this top 10 list has actually been harder to put together than the past few years. As a matter of fact, I've actually had to revise the list a couple of times because I would put the list together and then I would review it and I'd be like, nah, that doesn't feel right or that, is, that, that glove is too high or that glove is too low. And I would just have to con continue to revise it and then I finally made my top 10 and was finally happy with this top 10 list. The other reason why it was so hard to create this list in, compared to the past and every year it's gonna get harder and harder is that compared to 10 to 15 years ago when you had kind of like a clear cut tier of gloves, you know, you had, you had winning which is like the gold, which was like the gold standard all the way up here by themselves on the top of the mountain. And then you have Reyes and, and Grant, which were great as well. They're, they're kind of up here in that mix. And then you had all the other little, the brands down here that uh, had their gloves as well. And there was a, definitely a much more defined distance between you know those gloves when it came to performance, quality, cost, and all of that. Nowadays, it's the, the gap is razor thin. Um, I feel like there's so many great brands now that have so many great models. So you have, you know, obviously Rival, uh, uh, Phenom, MK, uh, MK1, um, you know, ISO has great gloves, Bayonetta, New Sporting, Boxe OTM. Um, I mean, the list goes on, on and on on how many different brands and models there are out there now compared to 10 years ago. I mean, hell, even compared to five years ago. Um, and a lot of that also has to do with the market now. I mean, back in the day, you didn't have so many different Mexican made brands that you do have now. Um, the vast majority of boxing gloves that we see out in the market are manufactured in Pakistan, India, as well as China. And then some of the smaller brands um, are made obviously in Mexico. You have some made in the UK. Uh, obviously you have Donardo that's made in Italy. So you have all, a lot of these smaller uh, brands as well. But the, the, I guess you could say the comparison between gloves compared to before is razor thin. So, uh, and that's kind of also the reason why I, I went away from the, the scoring system. I, some of my older videos that you would watch, at the end of the video, I would put a score for, you know, quality, comfort, performance, cost, and I think one other, uh, one other thing that I would grade the gloves on. And it, it would combine and average the score and give you a score and while that's great I'm giving you a number to think about and say okay well that was a 97 but this glove over here is a 95 what I was finding is that a lot of people um, one which is the most obvious have different style obviously different size hands longer fingers bigger hands and some people prefer different style of gloves some people love the Mexican style punchers gloves some people hate them some people love more protective gloves some people have reoccurring hand injuries and they, they want a more protective gel layered foam glove. So I started finding out that yes, I could recommend this 97 score glove to one person that might find them amazing, but I might recommend that same glove to a different person. They'd be like, eh, it's okay. I like them, but they're not all that great. And they might've preferred that 94, or that 94, that 95 scored glove over the 97, just because they fit their hands better. So I kind of got away from that scoring system just because I found that it started getting kind of too convoluted. And I found that there were so many gloves that were close in score to each other that it really became almost impossible to recommend one glove over the other um, because they were so close, both in terms of the type of leather that we usually use. Keep in mind, a lot of gloves are made in Pakistan. Um, the foam, the comfort, and it just became really hard to, to really draw the line between a lot of these gloves, even with giving them a score. So that's the reason why I kind of went away with the scoring system. And then I just started doing pros and cons. 
And the reason I do pros and cons is because then people could just make their educated decision from that. Like, hey, I like the pros on this gloves. Carlo mentioned the cons. I don't really feel that with this glove, but I do like the pros. So maybe I'll get a different glove and they can make their choice from that. So this top 10 list, the way I decided to create this list was these are top 10 gloves that I feel that I've gravitated towards more than all the other gloves over the years. Now, this is also a list of top 10 gloves that are not just from 2023. These aren't gloves that I just reviewed this year. These are gloves I've used all the way to the past and um, that are part of this list. So it's not just for the year of 2023. This is a compilation of gloves that go all the way back from when I started reviewing gloves up till now. Um, and these are gloves, again, that I feel that I continue to kind of go back to when I train. Um, I might use other gloves, you know, to train with, obviously, so I can make the review videos and have them part of my rotation. But this top 10 list are gloves that I find myself gravitating towards more often than others. Um, yes, quality is important. Yes, comfort is uh, important. Yes, the performance and the padding is important. And yes, cost is important as well. But this list, I'm not going to consider cost. I'm going to take cost out of this list because to me, I want to just focus on the glove itself rather than the cost. Because I know a lot of times cost can play a factor, but if we're just talking purely about me enjoying my experience with these gloves, that's what this list is gonna be. This is the top 10 list of gloves that I feel that I continue to go back to. I feel that are amazing gloves to use during my training. I train five to six days out of the week, so I get a lot of alone time, if you wanna call it, with my boxing gloves. And I feel like that's what's gonna reflect in this top 10 list is gloves that you just love to use. Regardless of the quality, regardless of the performance, regardless of how comfortable they are, obviously those will play a factor. And regardless of how much they cost, if they're expensive, if they're more affordable, these are purely gloves in this top 10 list that I just love to use and I continue to go back to. So without further ado, here are the top 10. So starting at number 10 is going to be the Primo Emblem boxing gloves. These retail for $125. They actually have a uh, version 2.0 now. That's now, uh, that's now out. I haven't reviewed them yet. I'll be getting a pair of those soon. But these Primo Emblem gloves, they're a glove that's made in Thailand. They're more of a traditional style boxing glove. And what I love about these gloves is that you get all of the quality of a Thai made glove with multi-layer foam padding and an extremely comfortable hand compartment. The glove length isn't too long. It doesn't have a super long cuff. And it's just a great all-around tie-made glove. One of the best, very soft, broken in. I love the way that they perform. And I think they're actually the only glove in this top 10 list that's a tie-made glove. But the, the thing I love about the gloves, again, is they're a perfect blend of that Thai craftsmanship with the more traditional style of a, uh, of a conventional boxing glove with that nice soft feel that you can open and close your hand. They're not, they're not a very stiff glove. They break in really easily and the padding on them is very well balanced. You can use them for both sparring, hitting the mitts, doing bag work, pretty much everything in the gym. And that's why I love the Primo Emblem boxing gloves. I'm excited uh, to try out the second iteration of them. Coming in at number nine are the Donardo Tutela Evo boxing gloves. At the time that I did a review, they retail for $1,360. I, although I think the price has gone up a little bit since then. Um, these are to me an amazingly crafted glove. Uh, really one of a kind. They're, they're basically what I explained and when I reviewed them, they're basically like a, like a timepiece when it comes to boxing gloves. You know, you, you look at other, a good comparison would be like watches, you know, you have Watches that are like, you know, like Seiko, Casio, regular watches you can purchase. They do a good job of what they're supposed to do, tell you, to give you the time. And then you have time pieces like the Rolexes, the Breitlings, the tag watches that are, are very expensive and they essentially do the same thing, but they're time pieces. They're, they're pieces that you can essentially wear your entire life and then hand it down to the next generation. I feel like Donardo, uh, that's what he offers with his boxing gloves. These are handmade by one person, Denar uh, Filippo Donardo in Italy. They're handmade in Italy with amazing leather. Um, they're pretty much a completely a custom glove. So these are not your run-of-the-mill, you know, mass-produced glove. Um, 
amazing quality leather. The Tutelli Evo uses a layered foam padding as well that has a good blend of both protection and performance. A, a really nice, well-balanced glove, essentially that you could use as well for sparring, hitting the mitts. Really nice flat punch surface once the gl glove breaks in. And um, just an amazing glove when it comes to the performance. It has a very nice silky soft liner. Um, I think probably the biggest you know takeaway, and I wouldn't necessarily call it a con, would obviously be the price. And not everybody is gonna be in the budget to spend more than a thousand dollars for a glove. Uh, so I guess you could take that for however you want. Um, but you know, if you're looking for something like a timepiece, if you wanna go with something that nobody else is gonna have, uh, then the Donardo gloves, uh, specifically the Tutelli Evos, would be a good choice for you. Coming in at number eight are the Hidden Move All Day Pro Balance Boxing Gloves. Z retail for $225. They're 100% genuine Turkish leather and they're handmade in Pakistan. Uh, this is a glove from Hit Move that I really enjoy using. It's probably my favorite glove from Hit Move, both in terms of the style of padding they use with the layered foam DRT padding, as well as just the overall comfort of the glove. It uses this really smooth tri liner. And I feel like, again, this is another glove that's very versatile. It's called the balanced glove. And to be honest with you, it's a perfectly balanced glove, no pun intended, that you can use uh, for mid work, hitting the bag, sparring. Um, the padding does have a little bit of a break in period, but once you soften these gloves up and you really break these gloves in, um, they're really amazing gloves, very comfortable. And the newish iteration, which I call the 2.0s with the Turkish leather, they also have a slightly shorter cuff than the original. So if you're a fan of the little bit shorter cuffs, you don't really like the cuff dropping super low on your forearm, then this would definitely be a good choice for you. They have multiple colorways as well as sizes and they offer them in both Velcro and lace up. So a very versatile glove coming in at number eight are the Hit and Move all day pro balance boxing gloves. Coming in at number seven are the Rival RFX Guerrero SFH sparring gloves. These retail for $259 on Rival's website. And these are essentially the sparring version of their really popular RFX Guerrero uh, pro fight gloves as well as their Guerrero bag gloves. And um, they basically made a larger version of those that still has a slim profile for a sparring glove but it has all of the features of their RFX Guerrero glove. So it's more compact, has a conical shape, a very comfortable broken in hand compartment with a nice tricot foamy liner. Um, and the SFH version of these gloves utilizes a blend of foam and quilted horse hair. Now I know what you're thinking, well it's horse hair, must be soft and bro broken in, not a good sparring glove. But the, the consistency is very forgiving. It's on the medium side. It's not an overly stiff glove. It's not super soft. It's pretty much right in the middle, which makes this a perfect sparring glove. I found that it makes a good all around training glove as well for bag work, hitting the mitts. But it's definitely one of the better gloves from Rival's uh, boxing glove lineup. Full leather construction manufactured in Pakistan. And I also feel that Rival also improved the quality of these gloves over the previous iteration. I did a, a review on the P4P. Uh, it's like a blue and yellow uh, Lomachenko colorway. And I wasn't really impressed by those, but just because there are some, you know, quality inconsistencies with those gloves. But with the newest Guerrero SFH gloves I did a review on just a couple months ago, um, it seemed like they corrected all of those issues. So the leather was very nice. Stitching was on point, was very comfortable. And just all around, just all around a really a great glove. So coming in at number seven, the rival Guerrero SFH sparring gloves. Coming in at number six are gloves I really need no introduction, which are the winning of Japan boxing gloves. These retail at a varying price depending on where you get it from, at around $420 on up. They obviously have stock colorways, red, white, green, blue, black. The gloves are handmade in Japan. Um, and you can also do custom colorways. Obviously that's going to increase the price of the glove, but these gloves are, are somewhat of an, an enigma when it comes to the boxing community. Um, obviously you've seen all the top pros use them when they're training. Some still use them in their pro fights. Uh, for the longest time, these gloves have pretty much been the, the benchmark of boxing gloves and both, both their no foul protector, even, even their headgear have been kind of the staple 
when it came to uh, boxing equipment, especially for pro fighters. And, and they still are. They're still amazing, amazing gloves. Um, and they utilize their own proprietary blend of layered foam padding uh, that some people call pillows. Um, it, it definitely has a very nice, uh, I would say medium to slim fit. They're not an overly huge glove. Uh, very comfortable hand compartment that doesn't take very much of a break-in period. Uh, nice poly satin liner on the inside. Thumb is comfortable as well. Just an overall very comfortable glove. And I think the thing that really sticks out the most is gonna be the quality. It's a very precise glove. It feels like a very precision made glove. The stitching's on point. The leather, is, leather looks great uh, on point with the weight. And you know, if you've ever been to Japan or you've ever had anything that's been Japanese made, you know they take their time. Everything is really about quality over quantity. And you can kind of feel that with winning boxing gloves. You can you see that that's how they speak to you is just the quality of the gloves really stand out. I mean, they're so good that they've spawned so many uh, imitations of their gloves. So many companies have basically released their Japanese version of, of a boxing glove. And it's basically in reference to the winning gloves. So, uh, you know, that, that saying goes that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and that in that in that case this really is that if you have a great glove people are going to want to try to imitate that um, so winnings are great um, i still enjoy winning boxing gloves uh, they're still comfortable but i still feel that you know with the price being more on the expensive end um, it's not as attainable i mean still you can still get them depending on your budget but they're still on the higher side the other thing too is trying to finding them they're often high, times hard to find you have multiple websites winning usa Kozuji, W Japan Boxing. I, I never have purchased from them. I think they're legit. Um, so finding a website that sells them can be kind of a pain. Um, and then there's just a big range of prices as well. And sometimes they're out of stock of certain sizes. So getting your hands on a pair uh, sometimes can be proved to be difficult. But overall, still a very solid glove. Coming in at number six are the winning of Japan boxing gloves. Coming in at number five are the Venom Hammer boxing gloves. These gloves retail for $219 on the Venom website, although Venom oftentimes has sales, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, you can actually score a pretty good deal on a pair of their hammers or any of their pro boxing gloves, the Venoms, uh, the Giant 2.0s, as well as the Shields. Those are all their gloves in their pro boxing lineup. Now, what makes these gloves different than their other Venom gloves is that these gloves are handmade in Thailand using Napa leather, Argent Argentinian Napa leather, at least that's how they describe it. So it's a full genuine leather glove manufactured in Thailand. Uh, so you know that the craftsmanship and quality is there. Um, they have several different colorways to choose from. Um, the hammer out of all the pro boxing gloves, the, the shield and the, the giant 2.0s are my favorite because the way it positions your hand, it positions, positions your hands perfectly every single time. Like when you land a punch, you don't have to worry about not landing on your knuckles. And it uses layered foam, but it also has a piece of EVA. EVA is basically a really, really dense foam or rubber, it's almost like a rubber sheet. And that's basically the outside layer of the foam composition in the hammers. Uh, so if you push down on the knuckle area on the hammers, you'll notice that it has a little bit more of a, a stiffer feel. The glove itself isn't very stiff, just that outside layer. And because of that, when you're hitting the heavy bag, it makes a perfect bag glove. It's, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for sparring. I would probably go with the Shields or maybe the Giant 2.0s, which would be more balanced gloves. But for bag work and mid work, these gloves are, are amazing. I mean, I feel, always feel super connected. My punches land perfectly. You just get a great, you just get a great training session with these gloves in, if you know what I mean. If you're doing 10 to 12 rounds on the heavy bag, if you're doing maybe four rounds with your, your coach on the mitts or your trainer on the mitts, maybe you're hitting the wall bag, you go to the double end bag, you're doing the whole routine. These are the kind of gloves that you just enjoy the entire time using them because it's just that feeling you get when you land the perfect punch every single time. Good wrist support. You get them in black and white, black and red, black and gold. Um, they also have a couple like limited editions. They had the, the Jorge Linares, uh, I think edition, where it was like a, I think it was like a green and kind of like an army, like a green gold, kind of like an army colorway or a military colorway. So. You know, they oftentimes will come out with a, a different uh, limited edition colorway you can look out for, but multiple colorways, uh, a good very amount of sizes. I believe you can get them all the way as small as eight to 10 ounces, all the way to 18 ounces, I wanna say. So you have a huge range of sizes and they also make them in Velcro. I usually get them, get them in lace-up, but 
overall, overall a great glove. Um, I still find myself going back to using my hammers every now and then as part of my rotation. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of reviews, so I'm, I'm using other gloves during my training week, but um, the hammers are gloves I definitely find myself going back back to using just because they're they're such a fun glove to use and they feel amazing when you punch with them. So coming in at number five are the Venom Hammer Boxing Gloves. Coming in at number four are the Torres Medina, also known as the Box TM Boxing Gloves. These retail for about $180. Now when I say about, uh, if you do go to the Box TM website, um, and keep in mind I will put links to all the websites for the gloves in this top 10 list down below in the description box. Um, but if you do go to the website, it's gonna be in Mexican pesos. I know some of you guys will be like, oh man, those gloves are $3,000, that's crazy. It's not $3,000, They're it's in pesos. So make sure you convert over to whatever currency you're using. If you're in the States, obviously convert, convert to, the, to the US dollar. And they're roughly about $180, which is an absolute steal for this glove. It's an, a Mexican made glove. Um, they were actually number one, I believe, on my last top 10 list. Um, beautiful leather construction, re really well balanced glove. Um, they, since that time I did a review on the, uh, when I did the top 10 list and they were number one, they've released um, additional versions that have different padding now where they use, I believe, horse hair, layered foam. So there's a different assortment of padding you can go with. Just check out their website and you can see what they offer there. But. Just an amazingly crafted glove with that Mexican leather. Um, very nice, comfortable hand compartment with that really smooth liner on the inside, comfortable thumb, uh, great price. It is more of a boutique brand. So if you do go with, go to the website, it's, they don't really carry stock colorways. There's certain brands that, you know, you, you know you always have a certain colorway you can, you, they'll offer. You know, winning will always have blue, red, white, black, yellow, no matter what. You know, uh, uh, Grant will always have that black, red, white color scheme and that red, black, white color scheme. So there's certain colors they will always have in stock. Um, with Box ALTM, Taurus Medina, they don't always have the same colorway in stock. So I've always told people, if you're buying from those boutique dealers, you know, and you see a colorway and it comes in the size and the closure you want, you probably should jump on it because they might not have that colorway again in that size and that, color, and that closure for a while, for a very long time, or may, they might not have it ever again in, in the stock form. You might have to custom order it. So do keep that in mind, but really great bang for the buck gloves overall uh, are the Box ALTM coming in at number four. Coming in at number three are the MK1 Select Boxing Gloves. These now retail for $217. I think they went up in price quite a bit from when I purchased them. Um, I did my initial review on these gloves maybe about a year, maybe a little over a year ago. And I think at the time they were about $130 to $140. I had to go back on the video and check it out. But um, in any case, they, they went up significantly in price. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of. But what makes these gloves awesome is several things. First off, they're full genuine leather. They're manufactured in Pakistan. You can get them in multiple colorways, blue, green, red, white, I think black, uh, different sizes. Um, you know, they're a, I believe a lace up only glove. I don't think they make the selects in Velcro, but excellent wrist support. I love the liner on them. And again, a nice, soft, smooth tricot liner, no bunching up like your satin polyester liners that you typically get that bunching up in the hand compartment. Um, but the hand ergonomics to me are on point. A nice deep finger part pocket with a nice grip bar. Thumb is perfectly placed and it has a good amount of softness to it. So you can open and close your hand relatively easy. And then you use a later foam padding that has a medium to soft density too, which is my personal preference. I like softer feeling gloves. Um, and all of that combined just makes for an excellent glove. Uh, nice deep ink compartment. Again, thumb positioning is perfect. Um, and was really a glove that I think at the time nobody had done a review on them. And that's kind of what got me curious about them is I, I would see them on social media, whether it's Instagram or any other other their advertising or some other post, or I would see a, a fighter using them and it, I would be kind of curious, like, oh man, what gloves are those? They look pretty sick. So I found out, about, found out about them, or I knew about them, I just never pulled the trigger. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and get those gloves, pick them up, and um, they definitely exceeded what my expectations were, just mainly because I never had uh, used their, their equipment before and there was really nobody out there to vouch for these gloves at the time. So when I got them and I put them on and I checked out the gloves, I, I was like, wow, man, these gloves, are underrated. This is this, these gloves are awesome gloves that really nobody knows about. So 
Um, that's what really caught me off guard about these and what were what made them really underrated. Uh, but an excellent glove nonetheless. Uh, just a great overall training glove that you can use for everything in the gym as well. Kind of a reoccurring theme with this list is a, a lot of gloves that can pretty much be used for everything in the gym. It's not one that's specifically just for bag work or specifically just for sparring. Um, they may be classified as that, but I feel like all the gloves, maybe minus the Venom Hammers, that can pretty much be used for everything uh, in the gym. So coming in at number three are going to be the MK1 Select Boxing Gloves. Coming in at number two are gloves that you may be surprised are ranked at number two, but are gloves that are, to me, just so under the radar, it's, it's crazy. These are the ISO Supreme Boxing Gloves. These retail for $139. And the way I found out about these gloves is actually by uh, Kermel Moten. If you ever watched any of the videos of Kermel, he has now turned pro. I think he's either 1-0 or 2-0. He uh, just started, started his pro career, was, was a highly decorated amateur, uh, trains out of the Mayweather Boxing Club in, in, in Las Vegas. And I'm, I'm a big follower and huge fan of his. Um, I think he has a potential to be the next big thing. But Kermel would oftentimes be using the ISO gloves in the videos, whether it was the Supremes or some of the other gloves that ISO has in their lineup. And that's what initially got me curious about the ISO gloves. ISO as a brand and then eventually the Supreme gloves I was watching his videos and I was like, like man, those look pretty sick. Again, kind of like the MK1 Select gloves. Uh, there was no reviews on these gloves. I was like, you know what, let me pull the trigger. Once again, uh, I got these gloves and man, again, these gloves um, really blew me away. Um, now these are a uh, a synthetic glove, what people use nowadays is they, they call them microfiber, but it's a very high-end microfiber. It's a very nice high-end, thick quality synthetic that's gonna last a very long time. Matter of fact, I use my Supreme gloves for my regular boxing training, but I also use it for my uh, conditioning circuit. So oftentimes I'll do bag work and I'll do push-ups with my gloves on, which is not recommended for most gloves, especially for some of your nice high-end gloves. I would not do push-ups with my winnings on or my Donardo gloves and mess the leather up. But with these ISO Supremes, man, they've held up nicely. I mean, they, they've, I've used, I've done sit-ups in them. They they have, I've sweated on them. They're starting to smell kind of funky. Even with the odorizers, I've used the, used the hell out of them. Um, I use them for my like training circuits. I'll even like get, uh, I'll get those uh, weighted bags and I'll put them over my shoulders with the gloves still on. And the materials actually held up surprisingly well. Um, for a synthetic glove. So it just kind of gives you an idea. They're extremely comfortable. One of the most comfortable gloves you'll ever put on. Nice, smooth, uh, tri liner. Um, extremely soft and broken in, which I love. Don't, there's literally no break-in period. Thumb positioning is perfect. Hand ergonomics is perfect. Um, the foam on, on the gloves, I'd say, are medium density with a layered foam. Um, really, really no break-in period, but once they do break in a little bit more, they, I mean, they're just perfect. I feel like you get excellent amount of pop out of the gloves. Good, good, great, you know, great feedback out of them. Um, I never feel any kind of discomfort with the gloves, even for using them for such a long time. I, I could do like 12 rounds of bag work, three minutes a round. Um, keep the gloves on. I can go do push-ups with them on. I can go lift, damn near. I can literally go do dips on a dip bar with these gloves on because they're so comfortable. Um, and again, these are gloves that really just shocked me, to be honest with you, I was surprised because when I ordered them, I was like, oh, they're microfiber, they're synthetic, um, not really anybody knows about them. The only reason I saw them is because of Kermel in his videos. Um, so, you know, I took a chance with them and man, they, they more than exceeded what I would expect from these gloves. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna buy me another pair. I, I, the ones I have are 12 ounces. Uh, I think I'm gonna get them in maybe 14 or 16 ounces, but full, full microfiber uh, leather synthetic. I believe the gloves are manufactured, I wanna say in Pakistan, if not China, but the quality is, is solid, good stitching. And honestly, the synthetic is held up extremely well, um, more so than I ever expected them to. So coming at number two are going to be the highly underrated ISO Supreme boxing gloves. And finally coming in at number one are the Bayonetta Premium Horse Hair Boxing gloves, these retail for $335. They're made of full, genuine cowhide leather, handmade in Mexico. And what I love about these gloves, well, really everything about the gloves I love, is going to be the rugged construction with the leather, but you also get the comfort and the hand placement 
that you would get with a more comfortable glove, say like a Rival, a Phenom, or even ISO, uh, where you get the blend of both worlds with these gloves. And that's what really makes these my number one. And I often find myself using these gloves the most frequently in my rotation. If I'm not reviewing a glove and I'm just training on my own, I'll usually pick these gloves up and use these because the combination of the foam and the horse hair is perfect. It's a perfect blend. Um, they did release a new version that has, uh, I think, more horse hair in it. Makes it a little bit softer. I haven't done a review on those yet. I'm, I'm assuming those are going to be amazing as well. But to me, these are a perfect glove, really, for everything in the gym. Again, uh, good for bag work, especially. Pretty solid for sparring. I think the new version they came out with will be better for sparring. I think these are suited more for like heavy bag work, hitting the mitts, but you can still use this for sparring. But I think what makes these gloves perfect, aside from the quality, the leather construction, uh, welted seams, excellent wrist support. You can get them in, in really cool custom colorways, multiple different sizes, as well as Velcro closure. I got mine in lace up. Um, extremely well broken in. Oh, you can open and close your hands very well. Uh, but when you land with these gloves, man, it's just the best feeling in the world. Um, it gets that nice flat punch surface that you land on. You know your knuckles are just landing flush every single time. You get great feedback and pop out of them, but you also get a good amount of shock absorption so you don't feel like your, your knuckles are going to get sore. You feel like you can really train with these gloves for a very long time and be comfortable doing so. Nothing about the gloves were uncomfortable, no pressure points. No areas in the hand compartment that were irritating me when I was training with these gloves. Just an all-around great boxing glove. I'd say probably maybe the only um, takeaway or con from this glove would be the price point. Obviously at $335, they're not an inexpensive glove. Uh, considering all, all out there that's in that market. But again, I wasn't really focusing on cost in this top 10 listing. This was just me telling you guys what I feel were my favorite gloves I've used in the past including up to 2023. And uh, definitely these Bayonetta uh, premium horse gloves are number one right now. Uh, just an overall great glove. Um, I got them this past year um, and I got them in almost, almost like an Easter egg colorway. They're kind of like a pastel light blue and a pastel yellow. So a really unique colorway that I typically wouldn't have gotten otherwise, but they really do stand out. And uh, just an overall glove that's uh, perfect for everything, comfortable, uh, performance is there. Um, they look great. Construction is perfect. And, and I really enjoy uh, using these gloves. So coming at number one are the uh, Bayonetta Premium Horsehair Boxing Gloves. So that concludes my list of top 10 boxing gloves for 2023. I know you guys are going to have a lot to say down below. I'm waiting for that to come. And you know, again, this list took me a while to compile. I actually had to redo it a couple times until I, I was satisfied with the list and felt comfortable with it. Again, these are gloves that I try to take the cost out of it and really wanted to focus on the gloves I just love using. You know, the top 10 gloves ranking in order of what I find myself going back to. And I think ultimately, that's what a boxing glove should do. It should, you should be satisfied and you should be happy with it. Regardless of cost, regardless of where it's made or what kind of stitching or what colorway it is. You know, is it that glove that when you look at the five gloves you have sitting in front of you, do you find yourself going to that same one over and over again, regardless of how the other four are sitting in front of you? So to me, that's ultimately what the boxing glove, what makes it great is for you and how you feel. And I think that's what ultimately, why I decided to make the list the way I did is because these were all gloves that I found myself using over and over again. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know where to put them, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box for each one of these gloves. So if you're interested in purchasing any of them, you can go ahead and click on that link. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.